Give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus that if he should find any man or woman who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, So, so, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The man who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice, but could see no one. So got up from the ground. But when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days, he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in the Baptist named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up. And go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias. Come in and lay his hand on him, that he may be down in his sake, he might regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man. What evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. 
But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hand on him, he said, So, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, eaten he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the Dyson with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. <coughs> the word of the Lord. Thank be to God. Be found so your star. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever eats my flesh, and drinks my blood, remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. So whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood, has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things are said while these things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, we encounter a persecutor who turns into the preacher and the defender of the persecuted. Saul still filled with zeal, after securing authority from the high priest to clean off all the followers of Christ and upon them in Jerusalem encounters 
they persecuted Jesus on the road to Damascus. An encounter that rendered him sightless as he went through a three days dry fasting. The Lord, however, instructs Ananias in a vision to go and lay hands on Saul as a sign of empowering him with God's spirit and a new sight of looking at things differently. Knowing Saul's former life, Ananias hesitates, but in his own hesitation, the Lord revealed Saul to Ananias as his chosen instrument to the Gentiles. And after his own baptism, staying with the apostles as a sort of orientation, as a sort of formation to his new mission, the persecutor becomes a preacher of Jesus in the synagogue. We are times quick in passing judgment over people using our own limited human sight. God in Jesus saw in Saul the zeal of faith his own religious commitment, and he wanted him to carry the same zeal, the same commitment to his own Gentile mission, of which Paul faithfully did and even died for it. These challenges, the disappointments that at times we experience, when those we consider not to be the best are chosen in certain positions of leadership. Today's divine choice challenges us to be slow in passing judgment. God can use anyone and can make him or her an instrument of his own mission. All that we need to do is to allow and cooperate God is with God's choice so that his work can be brought to fulfillment. In the gospel, Jesus teaches in the synagogue in Capernaum. And as he teaches, he continues his discourse of the bread of life that calls for oneness with him. He asserts that to have eternal life one must eat of his flesh and drink of his own blood, which of course we know is the Eucharist that we celebrate. This was something that was very foreign to the Jewish mind. And that's why it generated a quarrel among them. He however goes ahead to make a parallelism between his life, sustaining relationship with the Father, and him with those who feed on his spiritual nourishment, his flesh and his blood. The readings, my dear brothers and sisters, show us the spirit of the risen Lord at work, and how influential that spirit was, was among his followers, just as it is among us more so in every Eucharistic celebration that we participate. <coughs> the very spirit that should influence our relationship among ourselves. Remember what Jesus says to Saul, in persecuting my followers, you are persecuting me. This is something that sometimes escapes our minds in relating with one another. 
that what we cannot leave our faith in abstract. Our faith is lived concretely, translating the spiritual energy drawn from the bread and blood of life to real life experiences. So in loving or persecuting others, we persecute that Christ in them. We pray, my dear brothers and sisters, for the grace to understand that the Eucharist, so as to deepen our desire and love for it, more so in relating with Christ in that Eucharist, so that as we relate genuinely with Christ in the Eucharist, we may open our own blindness to the love and respect to that Christ in our brothers and sisters without focusing on their own weaknesses. Amen. That the Lord may enkindle in our hearts a great devotion to Christ in the Holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be moved by the Holy Spirit to act with mercy and justice. We pray to the Lord. That all who suffer from food insecurity may be blessed by God with the resources they need to be nourished and attain st st stability, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. That the assembly gathered here may be fortified and strengthened by the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. That our beloved dead, members of our parish community, members of our individual families, especially those we are praying for during this Easter season, whose names we have inscribed on flower and mass memorial envelopes, they may attain eternal life in heaven with angels and the saints. We pray to the Lord. We now take a moment of those prayers that lie in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask all this through Christ our Lord.
Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. Gracious and sanctifying his gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the walls of the heaven kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. They have overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heaven powers with the angelical sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, glory, glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks for it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you have eaten of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. O Master, so we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be forbearance to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, for him, and with him, and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Lord's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father,
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graces grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. For the Lamb of God, for the who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word of the Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring our Lord that what your Son commanded us to do, memorial of him, may bring us forth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is ended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.